I suspect all of us, at one time or another, have had something that we've said or written taken out of context. Maybe it's slightly misunderstood out of context, or maybe it's twisted around to mean something completely different than what we intended. But either way, because it's not in the context in which we originally wrote or said it, people don't understand what we were trying to communicate. And as it goes in everyday conversation, so it is also in the biblical text. When it comes to biblical interpretation, when it comes to understanding exactly what the scriptures are communicating to us, context is critical. It's one of the keys to proper understanding of the Bible. And one example of where I think context, or the lack of looking at the context, has led to a misunderstanding is when you look at the divine name Yahweh. Now, it's in Exodus 3 that Yahweh gives his expansive explanation of what his name means to Moses. And the context is that Yahweh has appeared to Moses and he's about to send him into Egypt in order to deliver his people from Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And Moses says, well, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and deliver the people from slavery in Egypt? And God tells him, I will be with you. Now, the Hebrew for I will be is Eye, Eye, I will be. And then just two verses later, context, two verses later, Yahweh gives an explanation of who he is and what his name is to Moses. Moses follows up that question with, well, what shall I tell them that your name is? And God says to Moses, Eye, Asher, Eye. I am who I am, or I will be who I will be. Now, that same word, Eye, occurs in both of these places. First, God says to Moses, Eye, with you, I will be with you. And then he says to Moses, Eye, Asher, Eye, I will be who I will be, or I am who I am. Eye can be translated either the way, either as I am or as, as I will be. But notice, the same word occurs in both of those places. But the first occurrence is the assurance to Moses that God will be with him. I will be with you. Eh, yeah, with you. Now, when you take that into consideration, when looking at what God's name means, the implication of that name, it's this. Eh, yeah, asher, eh, yeah. I will be who I will be, in context, suggests that what it Im what it implies is that he is the God who is with you. He's with Moses. He's with the Israelites. And of course, he's with us as well. He's not the God who abandons us. He's not the God who turns his back on us. He's not the God who forgets about us. He is the God who is with us, no matter what we're going through, no matter where we are. He is the God who does not abandon us. Aye, asher, aye. I will be who I will be. And who is he? Well, he's the God who is constantly by our side. Now, this language of I will be with you might make you think of a passage that occurs much later in the Old Testament in Isaiah, when the Messiah is prophesied. And one of the names that the Messiah will have is Emmanuel, which in Hebrew means God with us. So Yahweh is the God who doesn't abandon us, ayeh, asher, ayeh, I will be who I will be. And to Moses earlier, he says, I will be ash, ayeh, with you. So who is Yahweh? Well, Yahweh is the God who is with his people. Yahweh is the God who doesn't abandon us. Yahweh is Emmanuel, God with us. And this God with us is the one whose birth we will celebrate in just a few weeks. It's the Son of God who becomes incarnate for us, he truly is with us in flesh and blood. He becomes one of us. So he is Yahweh in the flesh, our Emmanuel, the God who doesn't abandon us, the God who's always with us. Asher, aye, asher, aye. I will be who I will be. And who he is, is the Son of God, who becomes incarnate among us to be our Savior, to die and to rise again in order that we might have salvation and communion with God, because he has not abandoned us, but become one of us to redeem us as 
his own. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the name of God, check out one of my earlier videos. It's called, Is Jehovah the Name of God? And if you'd like to learn more about Exodus and the Old Testament in general, then go to iTunes and check out a podcast that I host with Dan Price called 40 Minutes in the Old Testament. And if you'd like to look, read some articles, check out my website at chadbird.com. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.